Hi friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about a very, very important question. And that question is, is data analyst a pathway to become a data scientist? Yes, you probably have heard this one before where I would go as far as to say it's a myth where there's this misconception that a data analyst is a pathway or a prerequisite to become a data scientist. And I wanted to dedicate this video and specifically address this question and answer it with details while comparing the two job families, the similarities and differences, and specifically talk about if data analyst is a prerequisite or not. Let's talk about the similarities between the two roles. I'm going to divide, categorize the, the skill set required for data analysts and data scientists into a framework with four categories. So the first category would be math and statistics skills required. The second is the programming knowledge required. The third is software and tooling required. And the last one is if there are any other bucket. So basically the last well, fourth one is my other bucket. So let's start with the data analyst and see what are the skill sets that are required. Let's look at the both of the job families side by side and following this framework, let's look at what are the skills required. For a data analyst, math and statistics category, a data analyst needs to understand foundational math and basic statistics. For a data scientist, they need to understand basic statistics, math, as well as advanced statistics and modeling knowledge. Second is when we're talking about, so in programming, for data analysts, the required skill set is having a really solid understanding of SQL and complementing it with some scripting language such as R or Python. For data scientists, they also need to know SQL, but knowing the scripting languages such as Python or R or both are a must. So they must have both of the skills for um, they must have SQL understanding as well as advanced knowledge of object-oriented programming. The third category is software and tooling. So for software and tooling, data analysts typically require to know data extraction tools such as like ETL tools where they can extract their data, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets for basic data analysis, as well as some reporting tools such as Tableau, or just reporting in your Excel. I know many data analysts who do that. So visualization and reporting tools such as Tableau, MicroStrategy, um, QuickTime, is, is that a tool? QuickSight? I think that's one of the Amazons, one of the AWS tools, or any of the other visualization tools that are uh, uh, reporting tools that are out there. So having a good understanding of those is important for the data analyst role. For data scientists, the software and tools that are specifically required are dependent on the are very dependent on the project and the company that they work with. But typically, you can think of it like they also need to have a good understanding of the ETL tools for extracting data. But for data analysis, they would typically either use R, if they're using R, they'll be using R, St R Studio, or use tools such as Jupyter Notebooks or uh, Google Collab Notebooks. And they also would be, uh, depending on your role, uh, depending on your team, they might also be um, using some sort of uh, code review tool and that would mean that they would also have to understand how to use the terminal and basically submit the CR and be very familiar with that process for code review. CR means code review. Um, all right, so that covers the software and tools category. And then the last category is the other bucket. So for other bucket, I would say that for the data analyst, you would need to have like solid understanding of the business, uh, which is also true for data scientists. Uh, for data analysts, you have to have very solid analytical skills and critical thinking, which is again also true for the data scientist role. And the last one, which is very, very important for both roles is solid communication. So that pretty much gives you a quick summary of what are the skill set that is required for data analysts and data scientists role. So by now, you should have a good understanding of what are the differences, what are the similarities between the two roles and what are the differences between the two roles. So you can see cl very clearly that a lot, there's a lot of overlap between the two roles. Um, and data analyst role primarily covers a lot of like the fundamentals and basics, introductory stuff. For example, when we're talking about statistics or programming language knowledge and things like that. So it's very easy for someone to interpret this as like data analyst is a prerequisite to becoming a data scientist. But the answer to this question is no. You don't need to be pursue a data analyst career in order to become a data scientist. 
And I think one way to figure out what career you, is best for you and what career you're interested in is actually do a project. Let's say if you pick up some data from Kaggle and you want to do an analysis on it, do a very data anal do two projects on it. Do a very data analyst focused project that includes data analysis, uh, reporting, uh, visualization, um, and pre presenting and communication, summarizing the results and, and such. And do another project, maybe with a different data set or similar data set, and do more advanced modeling and using machine learning, advanced statistics. Um, and using like programming languages such as Python uh, or a combination of Python and R and try to do your project using that. And yeah, so do a project and then summarize your, fi sum sum summarize your findings and insights and create basically a document or a presentation that summarizes what you did. So that way you have to basically two projects under both uh, job families. And that way, once you do those projects, you will actually realize what you enjoy doing more. And once you have figured that out, you actually know what career you wanna pursue. Do you wanna pursue a data analyst career or do you wanna pursue a data scientist career? So let's say if data scientist is the career that you want to pursue, then you can scratch the data analyst career because you don't need to become a data analyst to become a data scientist. Yes, there's a lot of commonality between the two, two job families, but you don't need to pursue a career in data analytics to become a data scientist. You can directly jump into data science by taking the courses and organizing your curriculum that covers pretty much everything. And let's say if data analyst is the type of work that you enjoy doing, you like reporting, you like building visualizations. I mean, both roles require visualization, but like using tools such as Excel, working in Excel, um, you enjoy um, kind of like creating reports and um, looking at historical data and kind of like creating summaries for business using that data, then uh, data analyst is definitely a career for you. And you should definitely jump directly into data analytics and basically pursue your career. Um, I think there is a misconception in the industry and I'll, I'll, I'll maybe talk about it in, a, in another video, but I think data science job family, there is like levels of depth in for each role as you go into different roles. For example, data analysts, it's like very reporting and data analysis heavy. For data scientists, it go, starts stepping into like machine learning and advanced statistics modeling and things like that. And then you go into applied science role and machine learning role and kind of like builds on top of each other, but they're like still very, um, di di very distinct differences between each job family. Uh, I remember when I was in my last name, I was working there as a data scientist and um, there was also applied scientists there. Um, there was this misconception that the, the ideal goal career goal for a data scientist is to be an applied scientist. And I think it's a similar pattern, it's a similar pattern I have seen for like among data analysts, uh, people surrounding data analysts career letter as well, where they think like the ideal goal of a data analyst is to become a data scientist. I think that mindset is completely wrong. There is a place for each role and each of the roles stands on its own. If you are a data analyst and you want to become a data scientist, that's absolutely fine. If you are a data analyst and data scientist is not your goal, that's also absolutely fine. What I'm trying to say here is that data analyst, becoming a data analyst is not a prerequisite to becoming a data scientist. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think data analyst career is a prerequisite to become to becoming a data scientist? I would actually love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoy content in today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if, if you wanna hear more about data science, tech lifestyle, and everything else in between. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day. I will talk to you in another video, bye.